this topic, we will learn about the male and female reproductive systems in frogs. The male frog possesses a pair of testes as the principal reproductive organ and 10 to 12 vasa efferentia. Each testis is located anteroventrally towards the inner margin of the kidney. These testes are enveloped by a layer of peritoneum. Each testis is small, oblong or cylindrical compared to the kidney and slightly yellow in color. The fat bodies are additional structures associated with the reproductive system. They are formed of adipose tissue having a lot of stored fat in its cells. This fat is utilized as a source of energy for the growth of gonads and development of the gametes. The vasa efferentia that arise from testes open into the bidder's canal in the kidneys. The bidder's canal then communicates with the transversely arranged collecting tubules of the kidneys. These collecting tubules join to form a longitudinal collecting duct which then opens into the respective urinogenital ducts. Each urinogenital duct swells up immediately after coming out of the kidney to form a seminal vesicle that stores the sperms. The respective urinogenital ducts open into the cloaca, which finally opens to the outside through the cloacal aperture. Now, let us take a look at the reproductive organs of a female frog. A female frog possesses a pair of ovaries as the principal reproductive organs. Each ovary is a small, flat, yellow-colored, irregularly lobulated structure consisting of a number of ovarian follicles. It is enveloped by a thin layer of peritoneum. A pair of oviducts is present with each oviduct being divided into three parts. The anterior free end forms a wide and fringed oviducal funnel located on the dorsal side of the lung. Its opening is called the oviducal aperture or ostium. The eggs are released from the ovaries into the body cavity and are captured by the oviducal funnels. The middle part of the oviduct is long, narrow and highly coiled. The posterior portion of the oviduct is thin-walled and sac-like. The sac-like portion of the oviduct is called the ovisac or uterus. The ovisac stores the ova or eggs for some time and opens into the cloaca by its individual aperture that lies in proximity to the openings of the ureter. Did you know that frogs were the first land animals with vocal cords? Male frogs have vocal sacs like balloons that resonate sounds like a megaphone and some frog sounds can be heard from a mile away. This vocal cord helps in croaking during the mating season which aids in reproduction. Each frog species has a different call and female frogs can recognize the call of their own species. Isn't it amazing? The male frog has a pair of testes, which are small, oblong or cylindrical structures located anteroventrally towards the inner margin of the kidney. They are enveloped by a layer of peritoneum and are accompanied by fat bodies and 10 to 12 vasa efferentia. The female frog has a pair of ovaries, which are small, flat, yellow, irregularly lobulated structures consisting of ovarian follicles and enveloped by a thin layer of peritoneum. Each female frog has a pair of oviducts, which are divided into three parts. An anterior oviducal funnel, a middle, narrow and highly coiled section, and a posterior sac-like portion called the ovisac or uterus. Both the male and female frogs have a cloaca, which is the common opening for the reproductive, urinary and digestive systems and opens to the outside through a cloacal aperture.